attention to the matter. Hi, hello, Mr. Krager. How are you? Today? I'm well. How are you? Great, great. I am. I am so excited to be here. I'm so excited to be talking to you. Thank you for for taking the time to talk to to all of us today. I have to tell you though, first and foremost, up front, this is my first interview ever, and so I I am very excited actually to be talking to you and for this uh, to be happening. Well, you're crushing it so far. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We're I'm gonna get right into it. Um, I I wanted to ask you about that incredible incredible poster right behind you as the director were you able to have your input when it came to the marketing the creative marketing for this film because the first thing that i ever saw was the poster and then i saw the trailer and that poster i swear to god i must have stared at it for about two hours straight and it blew Strange. my mind okay um i love the poster so, so you know, this was an independent movie, really. It was a really low-budget movie. So, so there was no, like, PR marketing team. Oftentimes, they'll come to set, and they'll set up, you know, advertising material on, uh -huh. on location with the cast. But, like, they didn't have that luxury because, you know, this, this became a studio movie after the fact. So they had to just kind of go from stills that we had during production. So, so this, is, this is, you know, directly from the movie, which yes. is awesome. Um, as far as like the marketing of the movie goes, I I'll tell you, like they were very interested in what I had to say, um, mm -hmm. and they we were on the same page from the beginning as as far as like no spoilers, and I didn't have to fight any fights on that front. And the trailer that they cut is uh, about a thousand times better than the trailer that I would have put together left to my own devices. So I mm -hmm. feel like I feel like genuinely blessed to have a crack team that that is expert at what they do, and I am just the beneficiary. That that is that is incredible to hear. The, the the script itself is so well written. I my my hats off to you. Thank and you. It goes to interesting lengths to surprise audiences. I understand that you your background comes from comedy and the blend that you brought with horror and comedy together in this is is substantial. And I I was curious how long have you been working on this story? How long have you been workshopping it? Well, I wrote it fast. I, I probably wrote it. I probably wrote the, the the script in like under two months. Then I polished it for a little bit, but it took me a long time to get it set up. It took me almost two years to get anyone to say mm -hmm. yes to this movie because, you know, all of the things that I love about it and that I, I would imagine the audience loves about this movie are are the things that made it much more challenging to sell because you know it does not follow a traditional structure. Um, you know, the main character for a lot of the movie is a is a rapist. Uh, that is fun, uh, often, not always. <laughs> um, yeah. And and so there's just a lot of things that would make any traditional you know movie maker uh, producer say hell no. Um, I just I just I got really lucky with my partners. Yes, yes, you did. I I was watching an interview from yourself a couple of days ago in which you said that horror has been a mechanism for social commentary since the beginning of time. I thought that was so well said and so well put. Um, what do you believe that you are kind of contributing into the horror genre? I don't know. Look, my, my only agenda is to make a scary, fun movie. And so, you know, if people show up at the theater and they laugh and they scream and they go home and they mm. have a great time and they don't think about the movie ever again, that's okay with me. That, that's, that's really okay. Now, if people want to have conversations about some of, the, some of the broader social themes that are definitely here, that's great. And I'm happy that that, that could be the case too. But, but I, I don't want to make a movie with a big agenda, you know. Um, mm -hmm. but the themes that are present, since you asked, you know, are, are about the, the disparity between, you know, how a man and a woman can enter the same situation and have completely different experiences. You know, when, when Tess goes down those stairs, her mindset is the inverse of when AJ goes down those stairs. And so that's mm -hmm. the, that's the, the, that's the structure that I'm riffing on, um, in all of it. Mm -hmm. The, the the cast is is really really great. It's really I, I felt like they were really big for me. Watching the trailers and seeing the movie, I, I felt at times a blend of 
the human centipede and uh, uh, bad times at the Royale. Just those those two blends uh, together were, were the feelings that, that I was getting. Uh, okay. Yes, yes. Uh, well, the terror that I got from it that that's where it kind of reminded me of that that feeling. Not those exact themes, of course, sure. but though that feeling. Uh, did you always have these actors in mind for their perspective roles? No, I mean, as I was writing, I didn't dare think of actors. You know, I was just I was just writing for me. So no, I didn't I didn't think of them. But but Bill, for sure, when it was time to put a list together, Bill was the top of the list. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was mm -hmm. great. I wasn't familiar with Georgina until we got into the casting, and I, I I watched her in a black mirror, and I knew like, oh my God, she's perfect. And so I did a lot more research on her, and then you know, begged her to join and she did. And then Justin, um, I'm a fan. I've just always been a fan of his. I just think every time he's in anything, I, I kind of engage. Um, he's, he's just a really freakishly good actor. Um, I don't think people realize how talented he is. Um, oh, oh he, he really is incredible. Special. Jeepers Creepers. He's great Husk. in everything. He's great in everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, my final question for you, uh, as an aspiring filmmaker myself, uh, what piece of advice would you give somebody that is, say, interested in pursuing their first feature-length film? Right, 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 right. You know, I wish I'd written so much more. You know, I look back on mm. my life and it's like, I wish I had, I, I wish I had a lot more scripts. Uh, every time I write something, I feel like I get a little bit better. You know, it's like going to the gym. Um, yeah. You're not going to just be good. You got to get good. And um, so I, I, I don't take my own advice. Believe me, uh, I, I, I slack off a lot. But, um, but I think that the people that that kind of rise to the top are the people that do the work. And then unfortunately, that work is painful, and you have to do it by yourself. And uh, you're going to fail a lot. You know, I, I, I've been in like director jail for a decade man so you know it took me a long time to kind of write my way out of trouble and get get back on the horse here so so that's that's the best advice i could give that's really inspiring you are truly an inspiration thank you so much for your <laughs> You're a talent. great interviewer so dude <laughs> I, I i i'm very enthusiastic man you have a great day thank, thank you, so you. thank you you too thanks for having me man appreciate it